there so today I'm going to be just trying on some new NYX makeup that I bought today me and the honeys went on a little bit of a shopping trip together we both booked the day off work and I said honeys we're gonna go shopping for makeup and he said okay and I said yes that's what we're doing honeys he loved it thought so rather than just do a haul where I just say I got this I got this I got this which I mean no offense to people that do hauls but I actually think there's more substance in actually like playing with the makeup and showing you how it works or at least being able to do like a review so anyway that's what I'm going to be doing today I also have got a look at this I feel like I'm kind of you know going down a slippery slope of unconsciously starting a collection of cute animal it is but you know what I'm on board I'm not getting off I have a one-way ticket I'm loving it anyway so we're gonna get straight into this I am wearing the first product that I got which actually is a repurchase because I lost even though I loved it I managed to lose uh, the one that I had this is the NYX it just says extra creamy lipstick in the shade Rhea I love this I've had this before it's one of my favorite lipsticks it's like a really kind of well you can see it what would you say I say nude uh, okay so that's what she looks like quite similar to I don't know I probably am wrong here but it's like a more brown version of Blank Tea by MAC I don't know it's probably not I mean I think I'm going to take back that last comment but anyway let's pretend I never said that okay so we've got the lipstick which I'm premiering right now if you're a fan of these kind of nudes I'd recommend it it's four pounds it's a bargain it went in my basket and I said yeah yeah okay so you all know if you've watched my videos before I was blown away by the NYX uh, glitter Um, I've got this one in the shade bronze but I obviously had to get more because apparently that wasn't enough even though I don't really ever wear it but it never seems to be the occasion to wear it which I know I feel awful saying I should just be wearing it out and proud you know going into the office with it I don't know if the office is ready for that right now okay so I got two more I got this one in the shade gunmetal and i also picked up the one that i was most like drawn to this is in the shade crystal okay and it wasn't until i got home just now and i was just unwrapping it super excited for my new purchase that i realized someone else has has been playing with this 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 is not a virgin i, I mean really that sounds wrong doesn't it it sounds very wrong this was obviously like the tester and and i in my you know eagerness to own this I got the tester I can't be the only one that this has happened to I feel like I need to you know go to a support group tester buyers anonymous I mean okay so I got this I'm going to be trying those both out on my eyes by the way I've realized I'm three minutes in I'm still talking I got glitter glow because let's face it I'm going to need it I got the NYX sculpt and highlight brow contour in vanilla and taupe it took me ages to decide do I get the blonde and brown do I get vanilla and taupe honeys was just practically dying at this point uh, and then eventually he seemed interested enough to say get the vanilla and taupe and I thought okay I'll take his opinion I also got an intense butter gloss because I love these and actually it's not NYX but I'm going to show you anyway this is by Maybelline I mean Lone Ranger alert this is a bold color sensational lipstick in gone grayish I've been wanting to try that for ages I'm going to show you at the end but we're just going to get into this because it's been like a lifetime you're aging I'm aging let's just get into this so we're going to begin with the glitter you'll notice I don't have any uh, mascara on because I find that mascara gets in the way when I'm trying to do anything on my lid it just wants to be part of the party at all times and I'm like excuse me back off hair begin with what's left in the tester because uh, I think everyone's just been playing with this if they've if they've been kind enough to leave us some to play with I mean that would be nice okay so let me just see where's my brush why can I never find a brush like ever when I need one I, I even invested in little brushes and I, I don't I can never find anything I mean how rude right now really right okay so I've got one so I've never used this glitter glue it just says NYX glitter primer is specially formulated to keep glitter in sorry I just right you may have seen my suspicious eyes looking up I suddenly had like a little bit of a panic thinking am I filming on my new camera the one where like I'm in a rave and I thought no it's not it's fine sorry about that I couldn't not tell you though because you would have seen my eyes go like this I thought everyone's gonna think oh my god what's going on behind the camera is something extraterrestrial happening I promise no uh it's just me being weird okay so 
NYX Glitter Primer is specially formulated to keep glitter in place. Using the primer not only enhances the reflective quality of your glitter, it also prevents messy fallout and creasing. How do I apply this? I don't know, it doesn't give me any information, but I suppose, you know, similar to applying butter on toast, uh, you probably don't need directions. I mean, I suppose I just plop it on. I mean, plop it on, why not? I mean, really. Oh my gosh, like, look, I know packaging isn't, like, truly, you know, the thing to be concerned with, but, wow, look at this. I'm loving it. She could look at it all day. I mean, really. Oh my gosh, I don't know why. Can you see? I thought it was going to be more liquidy, but it's not. It looks like a primer. I mean, well, it is a primer. Why am I surprised? I don't know why. Why am I surprised? Could I use anything? Like, this is glitter glue, which, by the way, I'm very scared about putting... Oh, no, it's not glitter glue. Why am I calling it glitter glue? Because I was thinking, oh, my God, glue and the eyes doesn't seem like it's a good kind of pairing. But, no, it's glitter primer. I mean, could I not have just used any primer? Why have I paid... Like, this was like £7. Why have I paid £7 for a primer? They, I could have just used my multitude of other primers that I've got that I never use. I mean, really, right now. I mean, really. But anyway, I'm going to just plop this on. I think I may have used a little bit too much. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I thought it was glue. So, I mean, that shows, like, how little I know about the product. I mean, really. Okay, I don't know if I put enough on, if I put too much on, if it's if it's glue, if it's mayonnaise, if whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like I put enough on. But I'm going to just leave it. I'm, I'm not going to risk doing any more okay so how wait 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 like this is the only problem right you've got this little tub where do you put it with my bronze one i put it in here so i'm gonna right oh but i don't want to waste the what's in there look i've got little bits in there right i'm just gonna plop it in it can mix up i mean there's hardly any bronze in oh my gosh have they left me any at all wait have i opened it oh wait i've not opened it i mean really have i opened it I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay, plop, 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 plop. Oh, it's coming out, it's coming out. That's what she said. I mean, really, that's that's what she said. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I feel like this is taking a lifetime. Oh my God, like, really? This is taking, like, ages. Why is it taking so long? Okay, I hope that this uh, primer stuff I put on my eyes isn't going to set because, like, I cannot get this off. Like, really? oh come on now like nothing's coming out no, nothing whatsoever i'm trying look it's all over my hands though i mean really this is gonna end up everywhere like nothing's coming out why are you doing this to me right now okay right i, I just i don't know right let's just begin let's begin because we're going to be here for like hours at this point right so i've got some in there can you see it's got a lovely like holographic look to it oh my gosh she is professional today with actual glitter glue why do i it's not glue it's not glue it's primer oh 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 yeah oh yes 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 i can see glitter like flying past my eyes oh my gosh look at that oh yes okay i'm just plopping it on can you see that well i hope you can see it oh this seems to be going everywhere though. It doesn't seem to be like sticking any better than when I use my Fix Plus, um, which is a little bit disappointing, but I mean, maybe it'll just like hold it in place. I don't know. So I thought instead of like doing the whole eye, I was going to do like, because you may not have noticed, but I was trying to do a halo eye. I know, complete epic fail, I realise. Um, right, I'll just plop a little bit more on. Okay, so do you know what? I'm liking it. I don't know if... I'm liking it as much as the bronze one, and I'm not quite sure why. I feel like I almost preferred applying it with the Fix Plus, but, but don't get wrong, like, I'm I'm loving it. I am la 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 loving this situation right now. Okay, so we're going to go in with the gunmetal. I've applied the primer to uh, this spare eye, and you can tell, like, thank God this one is not a, a tester. I'm just pulling off the seal and then, oh, I was going to put the seal in there. That would be wrong. Can you see on my finger? Look, there's a party happening up on my finger right now. Okay, so I'm plopping this in. See, this wants to come out. I think there's just none left in the other one. What a sad situation that is. And I know you're watching this saying, I'm when you're mixing them all up together. I know the predominant colour is the gunmetal. Can you see? By the way, my eye feels like it's burning a bit. What? And believe me, I've used a lot of fake products in my time, but they've not made my eye burn. I think I put a bit more of that... Right, anyway, I'm going to stop going on. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, I'm liking it. And I thought I was going to prefer the the crystal one, but I'm liking this. Oh yes, please. For some reason, this seems to be a lot more, I don't know, can you see? A lot more concentrated with the actual little glittery bits somehow. Okay, I'm loving it. I am loving it. I wasn't sure whether to get this one. But I'm really glad that I did now. I'm liking it, but I don't think it's working as a halo eye in the same way that this one is. Um, I know the whole situation probably looks a bit weird anyway, because they're so different. I'm just going to go ahead, I think, and apply this like all the way on the lid. Because uh, I think the halo eye is not working really with the black. Or, well, it's not black. It's like gunmetal. What do you think? Oh yeah, I'm liking this one. Okay, so this is actually really, really good. I would definitely recommend if you're in the market for glitter, like glittery pigments, glitter, uh, just anything like that, I would recommend these NYX uh, little pigments. I think they're really, really a uh, good value. It's going to take you ages to actually use any up. Okay, so here we go. And I know I look a little bit crazy right now because I'm in mean this. just wanted to show you what they both look like. I actually really like them both. I think I kind of like gunmetal a bit more and I can see that that's probably the one that I'm going to use a little bit more but I'm loving them both. I'm so pleased I've got them. I would definitely recommend if you're a fan of uh, glitter or just like fabulousness then definitely pick yourself up one of these. They've got loads of different colours um, and I'm sure that I'm going to be buying more even though like I said earlier I very rarely use them. I mean, really. Okay, so next we're going to move straight on to the NYX Sculpt and Highlight uh, Brow Contour Stick. Right, and I thought I could do my eyebrows with this today and also try maybe doing some faux freckles because, I mean, why not? Who, who doesn't want faux freckles? I mean, I'm sure there's people that don't want faux freckles, but anyway. So I've got this in the shade Taupe and Vanilla. Um... As I said, it took ages to decide, and finally me and Honey's decided upon this one. I feel like I've got glitter in my eye, but I mean, that's no surprise right now. I mean, really. Uh, this was, I think it was £11, either £11 or £9. I have no idea which. It's going on nicely. It seems to be uh, pretty kind of easy to use. It's filling in the the areas of, of no... No eye, eye, eyelashes, no eyebrows. I mean, really, who am I right now? It seems, to, oh my gosh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And do you know, I'm liking the fact that the little nib is very small. Recently, I have been kind of flitting between the ABH Brow Definer and the Makeup Revolution, also Brow Definer. I really did like those because, I mean, they, the Makeup Revolution one's a complete dupe of the uh abh one but i do find that because i've got quite thick eyebrows anyway um the end of it was a little bit thick because it's like a triangular shape uh whereas this one i much prefer like that rounded nipple type nib do you see what i mean it looks like a little like nipple i much prefer that um to you know to the big kind of triangle like situation Okay, so I mean the shade seems to be really working for me. I'm, I'm liking it. I like the application. I like the shade. I like the formula. She's liking it. I don't know if I mentioned this. Right, so it's got a highlighting part to it. This is uh, the vanilla -y part. Should we do a little thing? I mean, most pointless swatch in the world. But I think if I'm correct, this is meant to like go under the arch of your brow and add a little bit of much needed highlight. I mean, yes, I can see it there. Uh, I'm just going to like like blend that in with my finger. I'm liking it. Yes, I'm liking it. It's given me a little bit of a lift. It's very subtle. It's nothing um, kind of, you know, very obvious. But can you see there and then there and then there and then there. Okay, so I went ahead and I put mascara on so I feel like a human being again. And I did the other eyebrow. I really like this. Um, I think the formula is great. I think the highlight part of it is really fun. And it's just handy to have it like right there. Um, because you know sometimes like you've done your eyebrows and then it's like a bit of a faff having to go and find like a highlight shade that you can just bang under the eyebrow. I liked having it like right there and I had no excuse not to, you know, add a little bit of a highlighting flare 
wear. Also, I um, highlighted above the brows for no other reason than I've seen other people do it and I thought, I want a piece of that too. Um, I don't know if it made a difference, but I did it anyway. I, oh, 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 I'm losing it. I mean, really, wish that this had a little spoolie on there, but am I asking too much? I mean, this isn't a, like, you know, bus this is more of a car i mean if it was a bus they could have added like maybe another area with a spoolie on it so i know i understand why it couldn't really have a spoolie but i wish it had a spoolie if it had a spoolie it would just be perfection okay so i think we're going to just try some faux freckles uh, for no other reason than i just i have the urge i, I mean really what's that what's that on your face i'm wearing I don't know, I think I went in a little bit too, like, big from with my faux freckles. I need to, like, try and do a little... Oh, I don't know if this is working. I thought I was some kind of faux freckle practitioner. I feel like if the little nib was, was smaller, it would have worked, but this isn't working, is it? Like, I'm going to just say, this isn't working. The, it's too big of a nib. I thought the nib would, like, just, you know, if it was a little bit smaller, it would have worked. Why am I still going? I've just acknowledged it's a complete failure at this point. But I just can't stop myself because I'm kind of enjoying it. Maybe if I go back here, it will be okay. Like, you you wouldn't notice. I think up here, though, it's like, I'm when you've, you've really gone overboard this time. I mean, really. Uh, okay, so I'm, just, I'm putting a couple more on just because I'm kind of enjoying it. And I can't really help myself right now. Should I do, do a beauty spot as well? I mean, really, why not? Look at that. I do that though. You know, you start off doing something and you acknowledge this isn't working. It's it's not good. And then you just kind of carry on because you just can't help yourself. Uh, this was definitely one of those situations. Okay, so this is the Gone Grage... Um, I don't know what it is. Bold Colour Sensational Lipstick. I really love the shade is perfect i've been wanting to pick this up for ages but in my tesco where they sell maybelline they've never had this shade they only have like the reds the pinks you know the typical kind of everyday shades i think they're just not brave enough to stock gone grage i don't know who they would think wouldn't want gone grage i mean really i'm really really loving gone grage and i'm so glad that i have it right now so this is what it looks like and also just back to the brow pencil so with the highlight situation i recently tried this uh, maybelline brow precise out and look how big that bad boy is like look at that I mean, do they think that I'm trying to highlight my roof or something? Because, I mean, that's far too big to be precise. And this was about seven ninety nine. So when you think that this was either nine or eleven pounds, I have no idea which. But I'll confirm here. This is actually a much better option because you've got everything like in one place apart from a spoolie. But I mean. I mean, a girl can't have everything, I suppose. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. We're almost at the end of the video, but I just want to finish off again. Why can I not say finish off without feeling like wrong? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show you the intense butter gloss that I got in Cookie butter cookie butter by the way i love the formula of these intense butter glosses they actually remind me a lot of the kkw lip creams they're fairly opaque and yeah okay look 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 these feel super uh kind of moisturizing on the lips they don't feel sticky or like you know sometimes like a gloss can feel I don't know, it can just feel like wrong and your hair just gravitates to it and it's like super, super awkward. Um, these feel like they kind of stick to your lips, not to your hair. They have really good lasting power, like once they're on there, they stick around. I've got one in Tres Leches, one of my favourite lip products ever. Uh, so yeah, I definitely recommend you have a look at these intense... Uh, butter glosses uh, they're just a really beautiful formula they've got loads of different shades ranging from very 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 bright and vibrant to just like very kind of nude like this one okay so this is what it looks like i'm really loving the shade this is the first time i've ever worn it and yeah it's right my street i really love it i mean she's really loving this right now I am in love. So, I mean, this could even, I don't know, uh, have a battle with Tres Leches for my affections and it could potentially win. I mean, and I didn't think that would be possible, but I mean, never say never. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this. By the way, my eyes are like out here. 
for no apparent reason. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and it's useful to you in some way. I really like the glitters. Um, I like both of them. I mean, I can't really choose. It's thrown me off a little bit that they're different, but I'm loving them both. Uh, the freckles, not so much. Uh, the eyebrow pencil, I'm loving and I love all of the lip products that I got. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I hope that you've treated yourself recently and just bought yourself a few things because everyone deserves to treat themselves. I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.